so excited. Oh. And he said, I just want to ask you, are you, are you going oh. to come up? The one thing I this wanted to. Said, I'm coming today. <laughs> Perfect. He said, oh, so I, yeah, I'm so oh, glad that I had planned yeah. on, yeah. like I said, with the kids at home, I'm trying to balance I'm coming in, up and spending time with Dad. I just and see then, something here. I just like the divine intervention. Everything we've done this morning is still like divine intervention. You know, I believe in that. I believe things happen for a reason. I've, I've always thought of you. Yeah. You yeah. do. You think, you know. These strangers. You know, every now and again, whatever happened to so and so. Because we didn't know what your dad did, you know. Mm -hmm. And he just faded, faded away. And he stayed, you know, in both Oakwood boats. It wasn't his. For he, but he, I remember he got blisters on his hand. Now you recognize most people in these pictures, right? Yeah, right. right. Yeah, I can. Oh well, you know this guy. That's my dad. Mm -hmm. My Here's mother. Ruby. And this is Jomer's wife, Rachel. Okay. And her grandma. Right here. Yeah. And you keep that. That's your copy. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. And you didn't. You didn't know Joan. Mm -hmm. No. The first or the first Ogut and her husband? No. That's on the end here. Yeah, we met him on the, uh, I think, well, no, I don't think we they did. They live in either. Chicago. She lives up on, uh, where is it? I, I don't know if she's still Dad alive. Dad always talked about this place in Chicago. Laurel, Laurel Loretta, something Drive. <laughs> I think it's, it starts with an L. They had two children. Okay, okay. so now this is... Should I have you That's write it camp? out? Your spelling is probably better than mine. Yeah, so what, what is this camp? That's the, a logging camp. And he had these built. That's probably, there was a cook shack and a bunk shack, they called them. Mm. An office, a big horse barn. Okay. Because they used horses to see Yeah, because the Apostle oh, talked yeah. about how yeah. he was yeah. uh, knocked off one horse. This, this, <laughs> these were two sisters. Okay. And they would come up to Grandpa Herman's resort on Pike Lake, which was called Wildwood. And this is Grandpa Herman with the tie on there. Anyway, there that was Alice Carlson and June Carlson. Alice and June. Very so good friends. They come up Alice. every summer. And Jomer would take them blueberry picking and raspberry picking. Oh, yeah, and it's got a picture of them with their fancy clothes on out on a wood pile there at the lobby camp. <laughs> they were meticulous. Two sisters. I knew they were two sisters, but yeah. I never get the name. And then they, uh, June yeah, passed the away to cancer, mm. and she got another gal to come up here called, who got to be a real good friend, and that's Katie. Oh. And that's Allison. Yep, okay. and then Grandpa Herman. Grandpa Herman, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, your grandfather, grandfather? He was my grandfather. Oh, so that's yep. Ruby's father. Ruby's oh, father. Oh, wow. Ruby or Rouse? Ruby. My my dad's uh, folks were the, the Nelson. Okay, right. Uh, okay. John Nelson. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's they lived on Maple Hill, and Herman lived on Good Arbor oh. Hill. Wow. See, I didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the next couple, this is Ernie Schimmel, who lived across from the farmhouse. And my grandpa gave him 20 acres. Yeah, I probably wonder what I'm doing, but when you look through right, the back, yeah. the reflection yeah. is like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was, he was a photographer, <laughs> and they kind of retired up here. And this What's was his last name, Ernie? Er, Ernie Schimmel. I remember. S I don't know what it's called. S-C-H-M-I-L-D. Okay. And then his his wife Myrtle. We'd go there every Thanksgiving for dinner. Mm -hmm. That was the thing. And I'll tell you a story. It might have even been this camp. Jalmer during the war, see, could because it was a war effort war effort to mm -hmm. produce pulpwood for paper. Oh, so no. then he was exempt from they used to have rationing, you couldn't buy gas, right. couldn't buy certain foods. So he'd always furnish the turkey and and all he needed, bring one to Schimmel. So we all would get invited out. Because Myrtle was 
My mother was a good cook too, wasn't she? <laughs> oh yeah. But uh, Myrtle was a real good wow. cook. But anyway, they baked he, the, the giblets and the turkey. Mm -hmm. They didn't weren't put in there or whatever, or they were taking out up at camp. Mm -hmm. And Jomer hadn't checked. He just grabbed a turkey because he bought turkeys for everybody <laughs> out there. Baby. And he drove. Ernie drove. When we got there, he says. Myrtle Dillon family in the giblet jumper. Oh gosh, I bet you they're at camp. This was up the Sawbill Trail. So we were on Good Arbor Hill. Dinner was supposed to be served. He jumped in his 34 Ford, Ernie did, and drove all the way out to Tofty and up the Sawbill to the camp to get the giblet. <laughs> uh, we got to go back right. with a gym. Had to get them for gravy. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> That's the type of guy he was. He was a meticulous wow. photographer, and wow. we did eat almost on schedule. Uh, 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 almost on schedule. Isn't that Andy Sharp? No. That isn't. No, and I'm not sure if that's Joan. It's not Joan first. No. That's, I'm not sure. Are you sure that's not Andy Sharp? No. No, no, no. Oh. Auntie, no. That looks so, why, that looks so much like her. No, that's... That's, are you sure that? really looks like Aunt Char. No, that's not. Mm -hmm. But what if he? Well, we all kind of looked alike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that, that. She looks that like you. Awesome. That, look she, they look that, that looks like you. Yeah. That's your sister. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's not very good looking. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Go tell her if you see hey, You're on video, Dad. You gotta tell me. You gotta anyway. Be well, that was Ernie and Myrtle. Now you want me to continue with uh, Yeah, yeah. That's then, Jomer. Jomer. Yeah, that was his camp. <laughs> we were, we saw his gravesite. It's right next to Fritz, mm -hmm. right at the foot of it. Yeah. If yep. that was him, uh, I don't know. Jo Jomer is buried at Poplar Grove. Oh, then that was somebody else. See, all our your grandparents or relatives are buried. Glenn is there. Glenn's wife Donna, up mm. where the little building at Poplar Grove is out here, the cemetery going on at town. Come into town. On the, on oh, the right, I saw it. Oh, right on the hill okay. there, and that's oh, okay. that's where my wife is buried, oh. and uh, okay. and Glenn and Donna and Grandpa and Grandma Helmerson, mm -hmm. and Rachel and Jomer there. Okay. Norman Helmerson is there, mm -hmm. Albert's son, and and they're there too, Albert and Sophie. Yeah, well, the next boy sitting down here. Yeah, who's that? Looking like Dennis the Menace. That's Glenn. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I'll tell you the story. Uh, you probably don't haven't heard that either. Glenn was my cousin. Glenn. Glenn. Oh, maker. No. <laughs> Dennis the Menace. Every time I look at this picture, I'm like, that's Dennis the Menace looking up at me. I'm like, what are we gonna do today? <laughs> He, he was born, uh, my cousin, mm -hmm. uh, his, uh, his dad passed away and when he was 29, and, uh, and he carried the mail way up the trail with dog team. Oh, really? Harry. Wow. Anyway, he got pneumonia and he died, so uh -huh. he wasn't married to the, the woman that bared Glenn. They never got married yet, uh -huh. and he was only two, two or three years old. And she couldn't raise him because she was real poor. Mm -hmm. So he was shipped off to Duluth to the orphanage. Wow. My grandpa Herman said, I'm not having a grandson be not named properly right. and not be an orphan. They went down and got him out of the orphanage wow. and raised him. But my mother, he came, he was my cousin then, so to speak, mm -hmm. legally. Then he became my uncle because he was legally adopted, so he became my mother's youngest brother. And then he moved, when he got out of the service and came home, he lived at our house because, and some during high school, because my grandma and grandpa were old. So he liked to be 
around young people, so he would stay two or three nights at my parents' house. Okay. And uh, he liked my mother's cooking. <laughs> he was a big eater. And uh, he grew up and he treated me like his brother. Wow. Where Glenn went, I went. Mm. Wow. Even to the bars. Yes. <laughs> he would take me because I kept my mouth shut, didn't ask questions. Right, there you go. <laughs> and anyway, uh, so that's what I said. What I gave his uh, eulogy at his funeral. Mm. And I said, and his wife was not from here. She was just shocked. She, what are you talking about? He was your cousin, your uncle, and then turned into brother. your brother. <laughs> and everybody else, well, I said, that's how it appeared to me. He was my big brother that I'd always wanted instead of a sister. Right. Yeah, you know, for some reason. Add it, add it. Huh? We have to edit that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they want the and then across from Glenn, Grandma, Lena. Um, oh, that's the person okay. that you should get in touch with. Who was Lena? Is Lena is married to Herman. Dan. She's the one that adopted right. Glenn. Yeah. They, they yeah. had to. Okay. Lena. My grandma, Lena. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, 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 I suppose you didn't get in on any Norwegian jokes. Yes. He comes Swin up, and he lives Lena in Florida or Oli and Lena. in the wintertime, <laughs> no. and he comes up no. here in the summer. <laughs> That's always been there, a thing up here. We're Swedes and Norwegians up here. Right, right. Somebody said that. They right. said we needed to go to the Information Center or the Heritage Center because our family would be there. Yeah, and it's next to Lena and Swanee. Okay. Yeah. And Danny Helmerson. Mm -hmm. And he did some oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dance yeah. And then that's research well, that's on Bud family. Down yeah. there. Okay. Roland. Hear that? Danny Helmer. Yeah. His name was Roland. Oh, Roland. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Roland Nelson. Saturday. Saturday. You know, we we always never, we've never he met him. He would love never met him. Never met him. Never met him. Never met him. He was there very quiet. There's a website. Quiet. I came across uh, all Very quiet. All names studious. Yeah. He had a hard time with his brother. He was more out there. Not your brother. Right. Because he was outgoing. Outgoing. Roller. This guy wow. in Denver Roller. that put Roller. it all together. Yeah, we our, call him Buddy. I wish I had gotten all this information and brought it with me. Right. Because we're all names are on this list. Really? Yes. And the all other two are your grandma's names. Oh, cool. And that satisfied yeah. 30 you years of mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew Jammer and the you know, the family. Yeah. I didn't know Lena. Great I didn't Great know anyone here. Yeah, or Glenn. I think the name is R I D H A L. All right. Now, the next mystery. If I come across it, yeah, I'll find out. Because who are these people here? He had all the names on his list. Grandma Lena. The whole genealogy. Grandma Lena. That's your grandmother. My grandmother and your grandfather Fritz. And this is Grandma Lena's brother. Everybody. Hans Warren. Everybody's name. He was a painting contractor in Duluth. Oh, okay. I, I know yep. the, yeah, this is what Danny's been doing. All right. He's, you have, you want a copy of that? Well, I would like one. Yeah. We got to get you back. Yeah. And, yeah. He I just, see it. I mean, some photo he, he has done so much. I'll give you these but, back um, now so you I know. He was no, those are, I have a you copy know, of everything. He has so much of that. Oh, well, yeah. I need this one. You need to have that. Yep. And then, uh, I'll take this copy. I have one here. They live next door to us now. They lived in the house behind Grandma and Grandpa. So I. All right, let me make a note of this. They must have he always drove like your school. grandpa well, they, Fritz. They were our playmates. When I was a kid, he drove brother, Nash that cars. Was my, they were uh -huh. my cousins, but always they were who I played with. And, uh, okay. and uh, if you, if you Hans, Hans one of them at Studebaker. Oh, big Studebakers, it was big black. That's another thing I wanted to ask. I have another picture of a. Uh, they're sitting on the field with Studebaker. It might be on the. There's those late gals out in. No, go back. Like I was telling you, sitting on the log pile. Oh, oh. Well, that, that was peeled spruce. And if you sat on those logs, you got covered with pitch. Ooh. And there they were. That was the one you were in finery. <laughs> oh, yeah, show, show that picture to the video every time. So. Yeah. Talk about that thing. Yeah, look at what they were out in the woods with. with those. fine stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah. See that? 
See what they were out in the woods with, how they were dressed? They went blueberry picking in that. <laughs> and they got their white outfits. They have white they, they, were, they were what we call old maids. Old <laughs> oh, maids? <laughs> yeah, they never got married. Well, what are they called? Men that didn't get married. They had a fancy name. Why were they called old? They were sometimes old men. Something. Old grumpy men. Oh, okay. grumpy men. Yeah, that would have been more appropriate. Now, old Grandma Lena, what was her last name? She was a Wanabu. She was a Wanabu. Wanabu's sister. All right. Yeah. Now, see your. So, who. Go back, because that's what David missed. Who is your grandmother? Lena. 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 Yeah. And Wanabu. Helmerson. Uh, oh, Helmerson. Yeah. And then your mother is. Oh, is no, it was Ruby Nelson, but she was Ruby Helmerson, Ruby Helmerson. Lena's, daughter. Lena's daughter, youngest. She okay. was nine years younger than her sister. Okay, mm -hmm. and then Ruby married Nelson. Ralph. 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 Yeah. Okay, and uh, and Ludy married O'Keefe, Jack O'Keefe. Okay. Oh yeah, I and, saw his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and Rudy. Was trying to figure Ludy. Ludy. Oh, going back to Ralph and Ruby, they had kids, right? Yeah, two of us. And me, right. and, me and Charlie. Uh, Charlene. I'm saying that for the video. Because yeah. you're saying it for me, but we're trying to get the, get it straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. And you guys have, how many kids you have? I've got the three daughters. And three what are your daughter's old. names? Doretta. Doretta. Catherine. Hi, Doretta. This is and oh, Stephanie. Kathy <laughs> <Yeah>, and Stephanie. <laughs> I think I got a picture of Stephanie and her husband and two kids years, years ago. Mm -hmm. It was during the holiday season. And Oh, Ronnie, Ronnie Everson. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, did you saw the obituary with your dad? I remember your did dad, you, and you, mom, cause when the uh, you saw you saw the obituary, right? Right here. Yep. That's yeah. Right. yeah that's it. Yeah, everything. That they were so wonderful to us. Mm -hmm. And I remember yeah. your dad was little. These beautiful wood carvings. I've got a lot of them. Oh, they were gorgeous. Yeah, he made a sailor man for me. I wish I had oh, a picture. Yeah, he gave that to me the last time I saw him. It's a it's a sailor. He goes, I call that your your grandpa Fritz. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an old sailor man and uh, in a sailor suit and oh, I can't remember. Uh, there's something else well, you told me a story you. about. Yeah. For being so far away. Yeah, I was wow. like, this is my only family. But like I say, we always were look forward to seeing Fritz and his kids when they came. Yeah. It was a big thing when they arrived. Did you see all these? Yep. You want to know who they are? Yeah, I was, uh, well, I know, uh, yeah, he, does, he doesn't do email, so, but here's my... I know email. Ruby and Ralph, because Ralph used to tell me the stories. Every time we went up to the Gunford Trail, I would sit next to him, and he would tell me the stories and log in, and because he cleared out the road, right, yeah. Just like we're And then I took his place. Uh, so I worked one or two years with him before he retired. Okay. And I ran a grader for the county. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, actually, I know everyone here. This is Ralph, Ruby, Sigrid, and Esther. Yep. I don't know this. That's Ludy, my mother's sister. Oh, really? So Ludy O'Keefe. Um, show that yep. to the video because oh, you're going to forget. All right. Okay. Amazing talking about. Rudy was her name? Ludy. Ludy. L U D Y. So we got, we have one, Ludy, yep. cigarette, there's Ralph, and Ludy, is that this gentleman next to her? Who's that? That's her husband, Jack. Jack, oh, Jack okay. O'Keefe. That's Jack, okay. Yep. All right. Uh, he was, uh, he was in charge of the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company, and uh, he was the manager in uh, San Jose, California. Okay. He had a beautiful oh, home up on the hill. So do you say that down in Oh, there was, uh, there was another, actually I think it's in the wedding pictures. Do you guys recall Bing Crosby? I don't remember. Oh, I know Bing yeah. Crosby, but. My Aunt Lou played golf with him. Oh, oh really? Yep. Okay. He's friends of 
This Linda, this is this was uh, who I was talking about that may still have a business in town. Lori. Okay. I don't know if Lori. You guys know Lori. This was her. This car. was this is oh. Lori Anderson. Lori, yeah. Oh. That's cousin Lori. She's been in. She's gone from this business. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they were in uh, hardware. She, she's still around town. Yep. Oh, yep. Really? Yep. Yep. Ooh, can I keep that picture out and see what we can find her? Yeah. It's, I, she works at 1010 Interiors. Do you know what that's at? Yep. It's out. That's when she east, was married to her first east husband. Of town. Oh, okay. Fact, Here, Linda. I don't have it with me. Okay. Oh. I have her phone number. Oh, with me? You um, can keep that one. Unless, because I'm going to write it on back here. No, I, I, I have another copy just in case. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry. You know, if it would be helpful, I can get a okay. hold of Danny and I could get a hold of Lori be wonderful. and I could get a hold of Auntie Star. Okay. If you would like, instead of running no. around trying to gather everybody, <laughs> if you guys want to oh my goodness. meet oh my goodness. the rest of us, the rest of the family, we're not, we're not the only ones Okay. Here. David, Alan, uh, you guys yeah. want to do that? See if they can get together tomorrow morning before Jason and David go for their 115 massage. I'm not going to massage. I got things to do. I got to look around my old town. Okay. So you want to try uh, 1 o'clock? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but see, we, so we suggest to them that they can get together in the morning. If that's possible. Oh, sure, Friday sure. morning. We leave yeah. Saturday morning. Do you leave Saturday yeah, morning? Yeah, we check okay. out. So we're down to... check out by 11 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, that's a I, prayer right now, the way you been at one o'clock. You ask anybody make phone calls. I mean, I, I, mean I, I can try to organize it so you don't spend a lot of your time looking around and trying to track people down. If Like going in a donut shop. Unless okay. you're right. yeah. <laughs> like me, I went into the donut shop two days ago. I have to tell my story. And then I was just, you know, desperate to find family. And I walked back and forth a few times in the world's greatest donut shop. And how did Gary and I meet? I walked back, and how did they people perceive me? Because I know I was going oh, back. Oh, very and forth. well. They were all they happy. Were they wonderful. clapped. They, they clapped. Because I broke down crying when yeah. I saw my cousin. He claimed me. <laughs> so I went back there, and you remember what I said? Like, yeah. Yeah, I just said, hi, my name is Linda Nelson, uh, I'm Linda Spears, my grandfather and father are right. here. And, I just, we have relatives here, and we're, you know, here to, you know, take care of Dad. He died in two years ago. Oh, we got a big relative and, right there. And then, that's when Gary claimed he says, I'm your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got up, we started hugging, and I started crying. And then that's, that's this is history. And that's mm -hmm. why we're here together today. Right. You know, I think about it. What if I didn't say anything? You know, what if right. I didn't say anything? Oh, or yeah. you weren't there? Because they said it was coincidental. Two other people saw us and took our picture. They said it was coincidental you happened to be there. Because mm -hmm. you're normally at this place called SOB. Yep. It's not what y'all think. That's, That's at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 5 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. And SOB stands for what? South of the border. South of the border. Oh, okay. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not, not that you other one. Well, I know so, that's Wadi. Fred cigarette. We'll have to figure out. I think that was Joyce. Joyce. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because I got a lot of information. And Good Flicks was on the end. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you remember that? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can pair notes. And Fritz yeah. and you know, Cigarette. You know, at least you know where, like, Danny's at but, the information yeah. center. I, know by the I, I don't know who this Lori is. Lori works at 1010 Interiors, which is east and of town. And I don't town. even know. I think um, that's by see. the Lutheran Church here. And you go out of town, it's on the right hand side. Is that the church across the street? That that's I'm no. This sure is a congregational. The so Lutheran is up right below the school. I try to run into her tomorrow. Right across from the together. high school. Yeah. 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 Either way. And then um, I have a plate. Yeah, 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 you, you know, it's like every time I, I look at this her. picture, I can feel yeah, Fritz's arm on my shoulder. And there's Blake. And there's your dad. Yeah. And. 
Joyce. Mm -hmm. Linda, he is sticking out. Yep. I, I don't know who she is. Go on, go on. Uh, I think she might have been Pat. Uh, their kid. Oh, okay. And this oh. one here. Oh, my mom. I don't know. Yeah. Even at the Skomars. House, really Skomars. Yeah. Oh, you're you're in so touch with my mom. Been, yeah, I've been keeping in contact, but then the last. Um, Two or three years, we kind of lost contact. See, and I was trying to see. And, and this looks your, like your the mom. same girl. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. Right. So she's my cousin. She mentioned you guys. Mm -hmm. Buds. But they have to be Buds. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Put two and two together. Yeah, that's okay, mom. That was your okay. mom. There's my yeah. sister. Yeah, mom. She, oh, really? um, yep. yeah, she lives right now in Green Valley, Arizona. I know they move around. Albert Helmer. Yeah, I know they they were in oh, wow. Washington. So right they were. They were this was, this home was there, there for quite a while. But and, uh, he was an airline pilot. Was 50th, right. Uh, for Delta. For and that's Delta me. and Pan Am. No. Yep. No. Yep. So they traveled. They lived in Germany for like with the longer here. About six years and. Oh, okay. oh yeah! <laughs> that's I did not. Um, that's my first wife. Oh wow! Started, Her mom? Yeah. yeah. You want to see your father and your mother at a young age? Look at him. Look at, him. <laughs> Look at those mutton chops you got. There. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky I didn't you know, have the beard. Uh, oh. Wedding anniversary? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Sophie. Yeah. And Albert. I'm going to write information yeah. down. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sure. And I can email you guys. Oh, I have more of these pictures. Yeah, that's great. Down, let me put you see Gary with the sideburns? Okay. He's over here. That's Auntie Sharp. You can sit if you like that. My yeah. sister. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. And all this time, I'm like, I think that's Auntie Sharp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Old, I changed a lot. Uh, I, I better tell you a story. When my mother was uh, losing her memory, and I, she didn't know me for quite a few years. Oh. Anywhere I, I, I could see the progression when I would go up to the care yes. center yeah. and see her. And one day I went in there. And she kind of looked up and she looked real big. Well, hello, she said. And I said, Well, I'm Gary, your son. Mm. Don't you know who I am? Oh no, she said. My son was good looking. She had a picture when I was 12 years old <laughs> uh, on her dresser. <laughs> and then she kind of giggled because she was always a trickster. Yeah, so right. I don't know if she did recognize oh, me or not. Wow. Yeah. But oh. oh no, he was good looking, my son. <laughs> and I probably looked like I do not well older. <laughs> So now you said I heard you talking with Dolly, and you don't have the log cabin anymore. You sold no. it. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.